It's low tide at Mud Bay in Surrey. Time for this drilling crew to get to work. Today we're doing geotechnical testing for the Crescent Beach Force Main replacement project. Now the Crescent Beach Force Main system is comprised of two pressurized force mains that convey wastewater from the region's southern communities, South Surrey, White Rock, and Crescent Beach, to the South Surrey Interceptor. And the South Surrey Interceptor intercepts the flow and conveys that flow to Anasis Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. The geotechnical work being done here will help engineers plan for the construction phase of the project. So along the alignment of this phase two section, we've spaced the boreholes approximately 100 meters apart, and that will allow us to gather sufficient information to characterize the soil column, and essentially we can use this information to determine soil properties, which will feed into the civil design. We also take samples that identify if the soil has been contaminated, so that we can factor that into any kind of disposal that's needed during construction. To keep equipment out of the mud, rig mats are used creating a temporary surface so work can be done at low tide. They also serve to protect the environment and existing infrastructure. The temporary road has a few functions. It allows access for the heavy equipment to get into the site to drill the investigation holes, but it also protects the estuary environment, prevents rutting, and it also protects our existing utilities that are below us right now. Ecological impacts are another factor taken into consideration. Because this area has sensitive habitat specific to birds, migrating birds especially, and raptors, we had to sweep the area for any nest ahead of coming out to site. In addition, we did an invasive management wildlife sweep. And what we found was that there are invasive species in this area. So in order to get approvals to move forward with this work, we needed to mitigate against spreading or any transference of the invasives. So before any equipment leaves or any materials leave this site, they're washed in a washing station. Once we process the data, the information will be used to determine the crossing depth at this location. As well, we will use the data to select the pipeline material type and gain information and recommendations about tools used for construction. Phase one of the Crescent Beach Force Main is scheduled for completion in 2021.